What are the good things and the bad things about fall in New Jersey? Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with a little uh, general interest vlog and today it's about the seasons really. I'm doing a little quarterly thing here. I'm starting off with the fall and we're going to talk about, you know, as the season starts, what are the good things the positive things about the season, in this case fall, and the kind of the cons, the bad. And I guess you can look at it also as a looking at it from an optimistic point of view or a pessimistic point of view. So we're going to start off with autumn in New Jersey, fall. I like calling it fall. Some, I guess, sophisticated people like calling it autumn. But let's start out. What are some of the good things about fall? Well, obviously, living in the Northeast, the fall foliage is one of the great things that people look forward to uh, this time of year. They drive up to you know, New York State or Vermont and they, they look at the beautiful colors in the trees and that's, that's always a nice thing. It doesn't last very long and I guess a lot of people like taking pictures now so I guess your social media feeds for the next two months is going to be uh, a lot of fall foliage. So you could just take a stock photo and put it up and people will still like it. Oh, it's so beautiful not realizing it was ta taken like 10 years ago by somebody else, but whatever. Another good thing I like about fall personally is the fact that it's not swelteringly hot and humid. I mean, that's what you would call uh, manageable temperatures. It's definitely more comfortable this time of year, same, same as spring, but a little bit different, a little drier uh, in the fall. And my favorite thing about the change of the seasons towards a colder time is fewer bugs. If I have a pet peeve, it's bugs, especially like bees and flies and other insects flying in my ear when I'm out doing something or working. They, I just hate being snuck up on by a bug right in my ear and they're always in your face. Luckily, since I don't eat sugar, I never get a mosquito bite. I don't think I got one. Maybe I got one mosquito bite this year. I think it might have been a spider or a bee. No, probably a spider. I'm really not a big fan of bugs at all. And another thing that's fantastic for at least getting a little respite from the outdoor work. Although I like being busy and working and it keeps me uh, in shape, it keeps my uh, joints and muscles in, in tip top shape, your, your landscaping starts going down. I mean, obviously there's other things going on uh, eventually when all the leaves fall off. I, uh, I'm really happy that we don't have to mow the lawn and trim the hedges every week. So that's a nice little break. One other good thing about this time of year for the next month or two, is that uh, most people's utility bills go down uh, dramatically. These are the two of the lowest months of the year. because you don't need, really don't need heat as much, maybe at night uh, where we live, uh, as I'm filming this video, it's in the 30s. So that's why I'm wearing this jacket in my cold movie studio. I think for the most part, there's two months in spring and two months in summer where everybody, everybody's overall utility bills are the lowest. So that's nice. And I would have said, you know, there's less shore traffic uh, come fall. And, you know, generally on, the, on Friday uh, afternoons and uh, Sunday evenings, there's usually a big traffic jam. When, uh, but this crisis has caused a dramatic uh, downturn in weekend activities. So there's really not any traffic at all these days. I haven't seen any in the last six months. Have you? Anyway, so let's see what, let's talk about what a pessimist might say about, about fall and the not so good things. There's a huge chore coming up in, uh, in November at some point when all the leaves are down. I, a lot of people do it weekly or bi-weekly. They rake their leaves and they have to put them on the curb. Some cities in New Jersey, you can't just uh, get rid of them. You have to put them uh, in stupid paper bags and, and all that stuff. But fall cleanup is, is, a, is a big pain in the neck for somebody. A little hint though, um, we, we have a property where we can just put blow our leaves in, in, into the woods. Another good way for smart people is just to mow, mulch your uh, leaves into the grass and that'll provide a good nutritional foundation for your grass next season. So don't bother uh, raking them, just mow them up. Mow them up to shreds, that's my advice. Another thing that uh, I guess some people might have an issue with, I have, a, I have a small clothing collection, but it's like you might have a bipolar closet, I like to call it. Uh, especially for people who pack up their summer things and put them in storage and vice versa in the winter. You, you never know, like one day it might be 80 degrees, you have to wear shorts and a tank top and the next night or that night it's going to be 30 degrees and you have to wear a jacket and long pants. So that's kind of a pain in the neck for people with uh, large clo clothing supplies. And one of the worst things about fall that I don't like, it's especially during big election years, is that the election signs are everywhere. They're everywhere and they, uh, they often stay up after the election, especially those dumb politicians that lose. They never take their signs down. 
I think the loser, there should be a law that if you're running in a political race, the loser should take down all the signs in their district or whatever they're, they're campaigning for. That'd be a little bit hard for Biden this year since his uh, s signs are up coast to coast. So that would be, he would probably die doing it too. And another thing that I guess this can affect a lot of people, I think millions of people have something called seasonal affective disorder, and that's due to the reduced daylight. The fall equinox, there was an equal amount of daylight or around the same amount of daylight and uh, nighttime, but it's just going to get worse towards the winter. So less daylight can be a little bit depressing for people because it becomes dark and you don't have natural light and that's that. Just go to sleep when the sun sets, that's better. And also, this may not be a problem this year for people who don't go to stores, but I remember around autumn or before Halloween, the Christmas stuff started going up at various stores. It was ridiculous. Uh, in September, I believe it was, uh, last year, I recall, seeing some aisles at Walmart getting uh, filled up with Christmas stuff from China, of course. China, as some people say. Of course, the big thing this year, I guess the worst thing about the, the autumn this year is, is the onset of the flu season. And as you can see, you know, they're already promoting masks. I, last flu season in 2019, no one said anything about masks. Now it's masks and flu season or face coverings or face diapers is a better way of putting it. They made a big deal. They never made a big deal about these transmittable diseases. They said, oh, just take care of yourself. Wash your hands maybe and avoid sick people or stay home if you're sick. But now it's the, everybody that gets the flu this year is going to be worried they have something else. They're going to go to the doctor and get all sorts of tests that are probably 90% inaccurate and that's going to be a giant disaster. I, I am not looking forward to hearing about any of this crap this year. And that's it. If you like this video, please hit the, the subscribe button and the bell. I do three videos a week. Have a nice day.